Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator, where last episode we attacked the Ptolemaics and we're very, very close to being able to take what we want from them. And that's fantastic. So we need to assign an Upper Egypt governor, but we can't do that. And apparently we have a civil war brewing. I'm not actually concerned about that right now. Let's just proceed for the moment. Let's start our siege up here and we need to finish this siege as soon as possible. Now these guys are apparently not resupplying their food here either interesting i wonder if there's no food uh no food surplus here yeah that's the problem there's no food food capacity out this direction so we're gonna come out over here and we're gonna start taking the food from here wonderful once these guys get resupplied on their food we are likely going to swap them with these guys because they're gonna run out of food very very soon so we're going to be gaining 11.87 food per month that sounds good and that is going to bring us up to 84. Now, these guys are down to 17 food. They've got about three months worth of food supply remaining. That sounds good. We have a Marshall perk available, and we're going to take Loyal Generals. That sounds great. And who is actually angry right now? I don't think there's actually anyone technically disloyal. I think we just need to... Uh, we need to refresh this, because I just started up the game. So that is understood. We can actually donate to the poor and we'll gain some stability and popularity. That refreshed it. Perfect. So that's what we wanted to see then. So we're now gaining 24.31 food. That's a lot of food. That's noted. These guys are down to 17 food and we can see this is at 49% and 0%. So that's looking great. They're making some progress down over here, but this doesn't actually matter. So that looks good. I really want to finish up their capital siege here. And we're just going to take the mouth of the Nile is the idea. I would love to put in a governor here, but that's occupied at this moment. So we're up to 14% on this siege and I would like to swap these, I think now. So let's move these guys in and then these are going to move out and they are going to go start regenerating, regenerating their food. Okay. So there we go, they are out of here. We take over this siege and we're going to start generating additional food here. Eventually we'll run out of food here, but this is really not too bad. Excellent. So these guys up over here, they're down to 24 food. We may want to swap them with these. They are not gaining or losing food right now. Okay, let's send them out and that'll be fine for the moment. Is this province generating food right now? It is not. Okay. That is absolutely noted. Now, we just won this siege. That is huge. We're just waiting for that to auto cap. And once that does, we're likely going to end this war. I think this is all we're going to look to take here. I don't think the mercs were even necessary, but they were insurance. Yeah, very low war enthusiasm and low war enthusiasm. So if we sue for peace, we can take... Everything out over this direction, uh, that's going to be slightly awkward because we don't fully control the state over here, but it would be something kind of like this. Oh, this is controlled by Upper Egypt? How did they do that? We, we were there sieging first. Okay, that's very awkward. Very awkward indeed, but this is still basically what we want to take. So this is going to be a fair amount of aggressive expansion. I want to take that. I want to take all of these. And that's what we can get. Upper Egypt controls territory out over here. So it's unfortunate that we didn't get this. Or did this all auto cap? Mm, I guess it's because the capital moved to here. Wild. Okay. So how much AE will that be? 34 AE? Honestly? I think that's pretty good. I don't want much more than this. I think we just take this, which is going to be a lot of pops, I think. That'll be close to a thousand pops, most likely. Do it. Oh, before we do this, I want to hop in here real quick and take a quick peek at what our current pop count is. So we're 6876 right now. We take this, 
There we go. And now, if we come in here, yeah, that was over a thousand pops. We're at like 8,000 pops now. Beautiful. So I would have liked to get more here. Unfortunately, Upper Egypt was a bit of a jerk, but we did conquer Alexandria. It has finally fallen to our troops and is now in our hands. Excellent. Settled by Alexander the Great himself in the middle of his campaign, it is said he foreshadowed the city to become one of the capital cities of his newfound empire. After his death, the city's importance only grew, and it became a home to center and learning for all Hellenic culture under Ptolemaic leadership. With the city under our control, our men and advisors wonder how we should treat our old enemy. There have been people asking for us to sack the city to the ground and bring everything valuable back home to Jerusalem. I don't think we should do that. We could take some of it. 12.5% of the population would perish? No. No. We're going to protect the city. Okay, so that's wonderful. I want to get rid of these mercs, and I want to get rid of these mercs as well. And then these guys, they're going to need to go onto road build. So, I want to head up to here for now. Yeah. Interesting. Their morale was super low. I'm not sure why that dropped, but whatever. Doesn't really matter. Probably because they were black flagged, actually. That's fine. We're going to start building roads, and I want these guys to build a road all the way up this section of the Nile Delta, and then from there they can build the road down here, and then just come back over here, and then we can start building some bridges. So a bridge here, and then a bridge here, and then a bridge so something like that. These guys, there's already some roadage built out this way. So we're going to have them go on to road build as well. They're going to build a road down like that and then across here. And then this road, we don't have a direct connection here. These are not our territories here. Regardless, I'm going to build a road through it. And we're going to come down this direction, build a road like that. I'd love to build a road down here. They're not going to let us do that, obviously. And then we would come up here. And then we'd build a road like this along this coast. And we would, like, road build this entire little quasi-island. And then build bridges kind of like that. And then I think these guys at that point would be responsible for building all throughout here kind of like that. Okay. So we're going to let those go for a while. They are going to be on road build. We do need a governor in Upper Egypt, and that's going to be this guy. Sounds great. And we've already got a governor of Lower Egypt up here, so that sounds good. Now, we're going to need to get some changes done here. First off, I want to turn down our fort maintenance. Then I want to go into our, our administration provinces, and I want to sort by religious unity. We're going to enable automatic trading for any of these provinces that do not have automatic trading. So just make sure that those are all on. Fantastic. And then up here, I mean, a lot of these are fine to be on encouraging trade or on acquisition of wealth. I want to be on low religious unity sorting. So this is going to be religious conversion basically all the way through here. So everything down here should absolutely be on religious conversion, including that's on acquisition of wealth. I want religious conversion here, including that. So then this goes up to 72. I think from here we'll leave it be. So we want all of this to be working on getting some conversion. That looks good. Now, I want to imperial power. Uh, do we want to be... Right, we've surpassed many of our greatest foes, but many still remain. Do we want to be political? Do we want to be warfare? Or do we want to be economic? Honestly, I want to be economic. So we're going to take that. And then I want to build a mine here. There's only the one. And then roughly a trillion farming settlements to build up in the Delta. And that makes a lot of sense. So we're going to get those built for now. Beautiful. We have a colonizable territory, allegedly, but it's fake. We don't actually have that, so that sounds good. Excellent. So for now, I'm relatively pleased with how that went. I don't think we needed the mercs, but they were definitely insurance. 
so that's fine. Ah! After the recent conquest of Alexandria, our warriors spent much time prowling the streets for spoils. During this predatory but tolerated activity, one of our loyal officers reported coming across a somber edifice, enshrouded in an atmosphere of majesty, the likes of which he had never before experienced. On closer inspection, this mighty building contained naught but a single sarcophagus, which we believe belonged to the mighty warrior Alexander, known to the Greeks as the Great. It seems that he's been buried with the honor and respect that he must have deserved, in a great city overlooking a sea he once called home. Possessing the tomb of this great warrior is bound to bring us great prestige, not to mention the jealousy of our peers. It is true, however, that this great man commanded such respect that others may seek to wrest his body from us. We could gain 6 stability, or we could tear it down and gain 50 political influence and lose 5 stability. That seems terrible. Honestly, we're going to take the stability. That's not a good option. <laughs> Fantastic. So we're continuing to get these roads built, and that's not going to take very long, all things considered. Ah, Upper Egypt cancelled their military access that they gave us. Sure. Do we want to be a patron of the arts? Well, we would lose a lot of gold for that, and we can't afford it. We're going to lose some legitimacy instead. Our legitimacy is going up by 0.24 per month, so that's not too bad. I'm not too concerned about it. Okay. So, obviously, that war definitely proved to us that we're going to have a hard time beating the Egyptian navy. But that's not surprising. This is basically an exclusively transport fleet. We're not attempting to do too much in terms of, like, naval blockading power or just combat power in general. Especially not against a great power. Well, or I guess these guys are probably a major power at this point, aren't they? Yeah, they're a major power. We're a great power, so we have eclipsed the Ptolemaics at this point. Stealing a thousand pops from them will do that. <laughs> no doubt about that. So we're probably going to look to annex basically the entirety of the Ptolemaic Kingdom eventually. For now, we should let our aggressive expansion drop and work on some conversions in this area. Work on investments. All of that is going to be very necessary. Okay, so these guys are going to be done building their roads quite soon, to be honest. They don't have all that much left to do. They're working on their bridges at this moment. And then they just need to build the road around this little quasi-island. I mean, it, it is an island. It's not a quasi-island. So that's absolutely wonderful. They're going to be done with that very shortly, and we're going to be able to put them on drill. These guys, they're taking a while longer, and that's, I suppose, to be expected. But we want to be done with this and be making a fair amount more money so we can invest it. This, there's a lot of investment opportunity here. This is set up as a awkward city. A very awkward city. What's the goal here? They've got citizen districts, they've got a foundry, they've got three academies, they've got some tax offices. They have a great temple, which we'll keep around for a while. They've got three taverns, they've got a farmer's market, and they've got three slave traders. I'm not sure exactly what their goal for this city is. We're going to have to definitely work on redoing some of these. This produces papyrus, so that would be a decent research city if we weren't turbo-capped, which we are. We are tremendously capped right now. Yeah, tremendously capped. We need a lot more integrated culture pops. We have 3189 right now, and we're going to work on continually increasing that. So that'll be wonderful. We're probably going to make these be slave and freeman cities, most likely. But there's a lot of them over here. This one here, it has literally no buildings in it. This one, we don't need the three forts, that's for sure. It's already kind of a Freeman slash citizen district. Yeah, the AI does weird things. That's okay. So we're almost done building our roads down in Sinai. That's wonderful. We're going to have that all done very, very shortly. I'd love to colonize these areas. But for now, we're not really in a position to do that. We'll get there eventually. We need to do a bunch of conversion first. So we can see that locations with these great temples, if we look at the actual pop info, 
we can see that the religious conversion is actually very, very rapid here. 5.44. That's very solid. We're going to start seeing religious conversion at a pretty rapid pace. One per 20 months. Really not bad. So we're done building the road here. That looks fine. I'm going to take these guys back to Yerushalayim. And they're going to walk exclusively on road, except for here, which eventually will have a road, but it doesn't right now. So that looks fine for now. These guys are going to be done constructing their road quite soon as well. So that looks magnificent. Absolutely wonderful, in fact. So let's get this road built across this little strait here. A granary, huh? We're actually just going to take the 20 gold. Cool. So that looks wonderful. We do have a bunch more farming settlements to build. And I'm going to queue two of those. Actually, three. We also just got a bountiful harvest. And that gives us another 1,100 gold, which I'm going to take. That is going to be a bunch more farming settlements. That was seven more farming settlements. I love it. We're going to get a significant amount of food out of this Nile Delta, which was expected. That That's why we grabbed this. We had very specific reasons for wanting to take this. Out of curiosity, how's Rome doing? It's all the Roman revolt now. Oh, well, the Roman Empire exists out over here, but I want to check in on their pop count. So Roman revolt actually has fewer pops than we do. Carpia has fewer pops. Armenia does. Parthia does. Chola down here has comparable pops to us. We're actually almost comparable to China in terms of pop count. We would be comparable to the Roman Empire if they were to rejoin with the Roman Revolt. That's insane. That is absolutely bonkers. Okay, we are crazy powerful right now. We are vying for most powerful in the world. We're not necessarily most powerful in the world, but we're in the running right now. That's a huge deal. That's a really huge deal. We're probably going to continue to conquer the Ptolemaics over the course of several wars, I would guess. But for now, this seems fine. Do we even need a road through here? Not really, but it's okay. We'll just get these roads built. And taking over the Nile Delta is a really, really big deal. I can't believe they just kind of let us waltz in there and do that. I mean, granted, they were busy doing other things, but they fought down here instead of defending their core territory. I don't know. They just kind of gave it to us. <laughs> Amazing. So that's a bunch of farming settlements finishing. And we've got one more segment of road here. So that is done as of now. Perfect. We're going to move these guys right on back to Emma Ohm. And let's grab this additional farming settlement. There we go. We're going to be able to get this last one very soon. So we're going to be missing, I think, a little bit this month. It's going to be next month. Yeah. Cool. So that looks fine. We're going to get these guys drilling. And can we expand our legions here? Yes, is the remarkable answer. But not quite in the way that I want to. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in a cohort of engineers to each of these. And that's it. So we're going to add in something like that. Then what I'd like to do is expand our front line a little bit. Our front and back line. But for now, this will have to do. Okay, let's get that last farming settlement done. That'll be wonderful. Eventually, it'll happen. There we go. Okay, we have a slave rebellion. This rebellion will be crushed. Okay, Age of Empires has begun. Perfect. So this is a slave army out over here. It's got 20k. We're going to stop both of these units from drilling. And we're going to head on over. So let's see what the Slave Rebellion actually grabs. They're going to grab this. Sure. They have no leadership. 
So that's noted. Absolutely noted. We're not going to give in to their demands. We're going to not negotiate with slaves. They're going to kill a couple of freemen. That's understood. And this is going to auto cap out here. Luckily, we've already built all of the structures there. They're up to 31,000, and we're going to arrive up over here eventually. Okay. Once again... Hmm. Are we going to give in to their demands? No. We are not going to negotiate with them. They're going to kill a bunch more freemen. And more people are going to join their army. But they have no leadership, and they have nowhere to go either. So we're going to fight them up over here. Um... Okay, we won the battle. That was really buggy looking because our second force didn't actually join and I never saw the battle actually pop up. So I guess we should come back over here and see about stack wiping them. They're stack wiped now and we're just going to cap this back. No more slave rebellion. Beautiful. So all of this should auto cap back at this point. Oh, the capital moved up over here awkward. I'm not sure why the capital moved back, but sure. There we go. That's now back under control. Is this a city? No, that's just a settlement. I would really like to have the capital here. So we're going to move that. It's going to lose 20 loyalty, but that is understood. Okay, so there's that slave rebellion crushed. That was not particularly threatening, to be honest. And we're going to head on home. Wonderful. Do we need to build any more farming settlements? No, they didn't actually prevent construction of any, and they didn't destroy any when they captured them either. So that is good. Absolutely phenomenal. So back home we go, and we'll get these guys back to drilling. Okay, yeah, that did get to drilling. Perfect. And now we can do more colonization. So we're going to colonize here and here. And here. And also out over here. Perfect. So that looks good. At this point, I would like to start annexing Memnonia. So we can take a look at that. We're at plus 30 right now, subjected to Cassus Belly. So we're going to give up our claim, if we can. There we go. That's much better. And we're going to start... I want to do relations actions. Improve opinion. There we go. So that'll bring them up, in theory, to fairly close to enough. We'll get them annexed eventually. And then the next goal, of course, well, a martial advance, yes. Protected from new slave revolts for 30 years, or a third of all rebelling slaves would be resettled in our territories. And we'd be protected for 15 years. Honestly, I think we're going to show leniency. Pops are very, very valuable. So we're going to do that. Now, at this point, our pretty much only option is to take retirement opportunities. That'll drop our maintenance cost a little bit, which will be convenient. And then we'll be able to take elite recruitment standards, which will boost up our heavy infantry discipline. From there, we're interested in grabbing both of these eventually. So we'll need to grab cohorts and promotion through Valor, as well as Fustarium. All of that will be extremely good for us. There's a lot more things that we want in the military tree, but we are very rapidly developing our military at this time. So that seems good. Now, this produces cloth, which is noble happiness. I really don't feel like we need research out over here. I really, really don't. We're currently having citizen districts here. This also produces cloth. Okay. I'm going to get rid of these three forts. I'm going to get rid of the port here. I'm going to get rid of the noble district and the citizen districts. We're going to keep the freeman districts. We're going to build three taverns. We're going to build three slave traders. And we're going to be losing civilization value while we convert that over. That's understood. So the next thing that we're going to build here is going to be a foundry. And then from there, we're going to look to get mills. But there's only so many that we can do. 417 gold. This guy could cover the cost. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to bribe him to get the loyalty back. Perfect. 
Okay. Seriously is asking for military access. I'm going to grant that for right now. That seems okay. No, I don't want to recruit these mercs. I want to click on this town. So we're going to get this foundry built. And then after that, we're going to be able to put in a mill. But we're going to have to wait for a lot of constructions to finish here to bump up the civilization level again. And that's okay. So that all looks fine. And we are seeing that conversions are certainly beginning in these areas. So that looks good. There's a bunch of farming settlements finishing up. Absolutely wonderful. And we're going to put in a mill here. So we have a lot of conversions to do on our cities out over here. I feel like, to be honest, a fort here isn't great. A fort here would be good, except that we've got a mine here. So that's not really an option. Okay. Well, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to work on developing the Nile Delta area that we took over. I would be absolutely delighted to take over the rest of Egypt. We'll see how that ends up going. We're going to have to wait a bit on our aggressive expansion anyway. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible. Including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Hero Marutsu, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.